Hello, I'm Grandpa Ron, and this is my Model Y. And today, I'll give you a tour of the inside and show you what I've done. So you get your new Model Y, and you're bubbling over with excitement. Time to customize the inside. On a previous video, I went through all the outside modifications I made. So if you're interested in those, yeah, there's going to be a link up there for that. Today, I'll walk you through six simple mods. What I did, the inside of my Tesla, just the way I wanted it. Okay, today I'm going to put an applique over this uh, shiny, glossy black uh, center console type stuff. Uh, you can see it uh, collects a lot of fingerprints. Jenny looks kind of messy. Anyway, in order to open it, you gotta put your fingers on it. So I put this little handy tray in here so that keeps my uh, sunglasses and sunscreen handy. So that's nice. But uh, I need to cover this. So I got some carbon fiber looking uh, plastic material. And I'm gonna put that on and see how I like it. Double-sided tape on them, so we just take that off and they stick on. So they're also removable. Uh, yeah, the carbon fiber looks fine. It's a little too glossy for my taste though. So put a little satin finish on it with some 2000 grit sandpaper. So yeah, I think it's gonna look a lot better. Got all the little things off, time to put it down. Okay. Last pieces in place. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. We don't have little children or live in a wet, muddy area, so I didn't want to get those hard plastic floor mats. However, I did get one for the rear cargo area. Cause they transport a lot of food and supplies. Sometimes they spill or are wet, uh, and that carpet seems to like to track little pieces of the grass and dirt and lint. So, uh, yeah, I wanted something a little more uh, durable and easy to clean. So, the Tasmanian rear cargo mat works great for that. Things can still slide a little bit, especially under fast acceleration or braking, but uh, generally it holds up pretty well, so it's not that much of an issue. I like it. And it's also you can easy to lift it up and access the rear trunk area. It's always good to have a safety vest in case of a breakdown or you gotta check something and to keep a few cleaning supplies on hand. No need to check the oil in the engine. But uh, you never know, you might have to stop along the road, help a damsel in distress, or even uh, cleaning those stubborn bugs off the windshield that are driving you nuts. So anyway, it's always good to have some cleaning supplies on hand in case you need them. Well, sometimes we just do takeout because the restaurants are closed for inside dining and stuff. So anyway, to help us keep the inside clean, we picked up this little trash can. It sits on the floor. It can be easily reached by either my wife or myself. It's a good place to stick an empty soda can or a snack wrapper as you're driving. Yeah, no one likes to stare at an empty trash. This gets it out of sight. Uh, it happens to take one gallon storage bags. We can use those little bags that they have in the grocery store for bagging your vegetables. The only real issue I have with it is uh, when it's empty. Sometimes it rolls around the back uh, when we're driving. What I'm trying out right now is just a piece of loose chain that we stick in the bottom. So, we'll see how that works. The Model Y has a lot of glass area. Uh, the sun will radiate up to 5,000 watts of energy uh, onto the car. Some of this is reflecting the stuff, but a lot of it goes inside. So, what do you do to keep cool? One thing to do is add window tinting to the front windshield and the driver's doors. Um, all the other glass is tinted. But uh, still, you get a lot of heat in there. Let's see what it is inside. Yeah, that's pretty hot. Uh, another thing I did was adding in a sunshield. 
So this sun shield from Tasmanian, uh, it covers just the roof area. I found it a lot easier to install the sun shield from the hatch area. So you just unfold it, make sure you got the label facing forward, slide it in over the rear seats, then go around and put all the clips in one at a time. So yeah, it's not a big deal and it stays put pretty well. Uh, most of the time you don't even notice it's there, but it does keep the inside a little bit cooler. Teslas don't come with a spare tire, so it's up to you, but I like to carry an air compressor around. That way, in case I run over a nail or a screw or something, yeah, usually you get a, a slow leak. They don't really blow out, so if you have the air compressor, I can always put some air into the tire. Believe it or not, there are areas on the road where there's no cell phone coverage. So uh, yeah, good luck calling roadside assistance then. But if you have an air pump, then you can pump up your tires a little bit and maybe get uh, off the road and find a tire repair station that can, uh, can fix it or, or where you can get coverage for your phone again. I like to have that and also bring a few tire plugs so I can plug the tire if I need to. Uh, I've done that before, don't do it very often, don't like to do it, but in emergency, yeah. It's better to have it than not have it. Screwdrivers, some gloves, plugging tools, and plugs. Overall, these interior mods have worked out really well for me. Uh, the only one I don't really care much for is the center console. Uh, that plastic is kind of a little bit thick and sticks a little bit, so uh, if I had it over again, I wouldn't do that. The total price for these mods was uh, $275. If you're interested in any of these, I'll put the links in the description below. I don't really do advertising on this site or uh, take endorsements, but uh, if you would like to use my referral code, uh, I appreciate that. And so this is uh, Grandpa Ron. I'll see you on the road for the next supercharger.